Look at this. Little, oh, you're starting to build a little belly. You're trying to be like the big one, huh? So that's look the at little. That. Little and tiger look here. salamander. Oh my goodness! Is this, what are you all doing in here? This is literally the biggest Bushmaster I've ever had the pleasure of working with. This is a male Bushmaster, the Chesus Muda, the South American Bushmaster, bigger than all the other Bushmasters. Okay, so look at this. Literally, their scales protrude off their skin like a pineapple surface. It is so cool, and that's what separates these snakes from the rest. They are just massive, beautiful pit vipers. Guys, I know what you're thinking. A bunch of little aliens inside a cage. No, we're at McCarthy's Wildlife Sanctuary. And these are all screech owls, a native species to Florida. What's really sad is these little guys end up getting hit by cars seasonally here. And then all the locals will bring these poor little birds to McCarthy's Wildlife Sanctuary where Anna and Sabi take care of the animals. They rehab these birds and then they let them go into the wild. Don't get away from me. Come close, come close. <laughs> these ladies dedicate all their time to rehabbing these animals. Broken wings, broken bones, whatever it is, they rehab these animals and do their best to get them back to the wild. And you guys are going to be releasing all these screech owls soon, right? Yes. And you can technically release them on private properties, on certain public lands. So they've actually designated my spot as a future release area. So we're actually gonna be releasing a bunch of native birds of prey on my property. It's super exciting stuff. But enough about that bird talk, because I don't give a hoot. <laughs> we're going to the reptile house. Because in the reptile house, they got new snakes. They've been rearranging. We haven't yes. been there in a fat minute. How's the, how's the, how do you say, uh, Bushmaster? Bushmaster. <laughs> how's that snake doing? Really good. Really good. Let's yes. go check him out. We'll check out all the babies. Well, we gotta find Mark McCarthy. He's somewhere around here too. I don't know, but we're gonna go check it out. Lots of good stuff going on. Super excited. I haven't been here in a fat minute because I've been so busy with my facility, all the craziness. I mean, look at this. Look at this. We don't get to enjoy dogs like this at our property. Come here, Dash. Oh my god, you're so cute. Say hello to the camera. Well, oh, okay. <laughs> like a loaded gun. So we're gonna go check out the snakes right now. Lots of good stuff. Like I've been saying, I love this place. They do everything they can to rehab local wildlife, set them back free. And also there's a whole bunch of exotics that always need homes. Like, look at all these lemurs over here. There's ring-tailed lemurs. There's all different types of prosimian species here because a lot of people think they're good pets. They get them and then realize, oh no. This monkey is going through hormonal changes and he's getting real aggressive with me. So then they end up at places like this because not all exotic animals should be in someone's house as a pet. And that's why sanctuaries like this are so important to home all these animals that end up not hanging out the first home for too long. So it's really awesome to have sanctuaries like this. Let's go see some reptiles. Let's go see some snakes. Let's go see some Bushmaster! biggest Bushmaster I've ever had the pleasure of working with. This is a male Bushmaster, Lachesis Muda, the South American Bushmaster, bigger than all the other Bushmasters. This one specifically is like around eight feet long, and he literally is the biggest one I've ever laid my hands on. And he's honestly, he's very gentle too. He's not super defensive. He's pretty laid back. And he's been, been calling Mark Carthy's Wildlife Sanctuary home for about like five years now. So he's been around for a while doing nice and well, look at this, so much cool stuff going on. Look, they even have some more Bushmasters right here. Look at this. These are some of the babies that they got probably like a year ago, and they're getting huge. They're probably like around two feet long now, getting nice and big. So much good stuff. Anna, what is going on over here? I know. What? The Insularis, the blue Insularis, they've actually got the albino yes. hanging out with them too. Is that albino a male? That's the yellow and it's the man, and those one is the female, which they have. Ooh. They're gonna produce a lot. They're gonna produce a lot of babies. They actually have live birth, which is actually called ovoviviris, which means no eggs. They're actually developed inside the body and then squirt out a bunch of live, squirmy little babies. 
And these guys have lots of, like, every, every mm, what, like every eight months you got a yeah. ton of babies in here? Yes. Like up crazy? To 13. One female can have up to 13. Oh my god. That's the 13 or 30? Mm, 13 babies. 13? That's pretty good. And uh, Tyler Nolan got some babies, uh, what, like a year and a half, two years ago or something Almost like that? Two years. He, he's been killing it. They're doing really well. Oh, they're good. getting nice and big. I actually I'm saw them. They're like, that. They're, that, they're that long. I got some babies off of you, remember, like a couple years back, but mine. I'll do better next time. Uh, but these guys are just doing amazing. This species is from Komodo Island. So these guys live amongst Komodo dragons, literally in dry shrub around these animals, which they could hide and whatnot, but what if there's a baby Komodo dragon lurking around? Because these baby Komodos love to eat little snakes, lizards, other reptiles, and a little blue pit viper will make them a real nice meal. If we could see some of these in the wild, that would be a dream come true, let alone Komodo dragons. Yes. Do you and Mark want to go with me to Southeast Asia? Oh, that would be good. Yeah, I'll drive this time. We went to Costa Rica <laughs> together. They love my driving in the mountains. <laughs> Wait until we go to Asia. Good time. You, you guys will get like a, a extended scooter. You guys can sit on the back of the scooter and yes. I'll drive you guys. <laughs> and we'll go through traffic. Oh my God. We have to do that again. If anything's going to get your blood pumping, it's going through Bangkok traffic on a little motorbike. Everything looks so good. Thank you. Uh, Mark's not here currently because Mark had some bowel movements he had to make. <laughs> but we're going to look at everything else while we're here with Aneth. Aneth, take me to my chubby little friends. Take me to my chubby little friends. Where are they? Um. Oh. Nope. 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 Uh, nope. Uh, oh, you're not the big one. Let me get my hands wet first because this is an amphibian. We don't want to dry out his skin. Yeah. Look at this. Little, oh, you're starting to build a little belly. You're trying to be like the big one, huh? So that's look the at little. That. Little and tiger look here. Oh, my goodness. Is it, what are you all doing in here? I'm sorry to break you Sitting all up. Sitting on the top for look daddy. At look at that. Oh, my that's goodness. That's the chubby one. Look at the. Oh, he's so fluffy. He actually looks like he uh, went on a little weight, weight washer diet. Yes. He looks a little skinnier. He's, he's doing really good. Look at this, these, these guys are tiger salamanders. They're not leopard geckos, they're literally amphibians. And these guys will go through two different phases. You can find them in the water looking like a newt with their gills, but when they live on land, they perfectly adapted and they lose those gills for long term living amongst the terrestrials. Look at that, look at those cute little faces like aliens. Mark McCarthy, you made it, what's going on Mark? Hi everybody. Yeah, we're just checking out the tigers. You wanna you wanna come with the tigers? These guys are doing well. This this yeah. one actually looks like it was on a Weight Watchers diet. It's kind of yeah, skinny. Yes, so put on the diet a little bit. Look at that. They are so beautiful. And what a great animal to get kids close with, because they're doing tours at this facility, and little kids have the opportunity to actually see these guys up close. You know, rather than little kids. Little little kids with a little potasito. Oh. This is so cool. Some animals that aren't too dangerous and not venomous that kids can get close to. Because that's what's important about this facility, getting people close to these animals. It's all about the interactions. You can watch videos about these animals, you can see them from a distance, but there's a big difference in actually having the animal in front of you and being able to touch it. And that's what's so cool about facilities like this. Literally mom and pop facilities that get you so close to these animals. And I just want to get so close to them. I love you guys. What about the Bushmaster? You're gonna say hi to the Bushmaster or not? You don't have to. I don't have to? But it's the Bushmaster! Alright beautiful people, we're actually gonna be unlocking the Bushmaster because I, like I said, had the pleasure of working with this snake a couple years ago and it's one of the biggest Bushmasters I've ever had the pleasure of having my hands on. Mark and Anna, they they trust me for some reason to open this enclosure. No, I'm just kidding. They know that I know what I'm doing, and I'm licensed in the state of Florida, so it's not a liability for them. But look at this Bushmaster. You know what? You stay over there. Actually, you come over here, so you have a good distance. Use that zoom. Don't forget, this is the largest viper on the planet, getting upwards to 12 feet long. And right now, all he is is about eight foot. So he's a, he's got a lot of growing to go. Let me just uh, pick you up by your coils. So the awesome part about this is that my Bushmasters, they're not full grown yet, they're still juveniles. So their scales haven't fully protruded yet, which is what they're so famous for. Those Bushmasters have those incredibly modified scales to help them live amongst the Wasili trees, which are spiky. So look at this, literally, their scales protrude off their skin 
like a pineapple surface. It is so cool, and that's what separates these snakes from the rest. They are just massive, beautiful pit vipers. Literally, this is the largest species of viper on the planet. Look at that snake. And you know, he's not super defensive. He's not losing his mind right now. He understands that I'm not a threat. And I'm going real smooth with him too, because you wouldn't want to agitate the snake. It would be so easy for him to get upset and have this whole room to strike, because he's just such a massive pit viper. Look at this. Check out that tail. Look at this. That tail has a modified spike, just like a rose's thorn. And that's used to slap against the leaves to sound like a rattlesnake, to let other animals know they're not messing around and they're packing venom. Look at my hand right here. I have huge hands. And in my hand, it looks like I'm holding a boa constrictor because how thick this snake is. You can hear the drool in my mouth right now. I'm throbbing because this is my favorite snake on the planet. Just to be able to handle such a large individual is incredible. But what we really want to do is one day actually make our way to Peru, to southern Peru, and find a wild Bushmaster in the wild. That would be amazing. All right, I'm going to stick this Bushmaster right back inside that enclosure. Real smooth like. We don't want to upset him at all. There we go. Look at that. That is such a beast of a Bushmaster. So clean looking, so perfect. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that. I've had the pleasure of working with snakes like this, cats, like the cats of this facility, all different types of wildlife just here in Florida growing up. In there, nice and thick. Oh my goodness. All right, the keys are in the keys. Are, uh, keep me ah. locked and secure. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Anna. Thank you so much, Mark. You guys are the best. I didn't die, so it's a win today. Mark, you're the best. I love you so much. Thank you, guys. Guys, if you want to come and check out McCarthy's Wildlife Sanctuary, see all these badass snakes. Look at the room. Look at this. Look at all these venomous snakes. Look at all this. Look at all this. Probably shouldn't be running in here. But so many beautiful venomous snakes, all different types of rescued wildlife on the property and rehab wildlife. So much to see, so much to learn. Thank you so much for joining me on My Wildlife. I'll see you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe. Don't forget to check out McCarthy's Wildlife Sanctuary here in West Palm Beach. Come and get a tour, check out the wildlife. And also, don't forget to check us out on cherishwildlife.com to get your own Cherish Wildlife merchandise! Ah, free market! and Patreon for exclusive content. I'll see you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, show respect to the ones you love. I respect you. Thank you. I respect you. Thank you. Ruth, Thank you keep working. <laughs> I respect you. I'm joking. <laughs>